wreck. You still seem nervous. I wasn't this nervous before. It's just being alone in this lounge, I can't stop thinking about everything. I mean, not only are we taking part in the war dance, but we have such an important mission to carry out as well. March, calm down. Don't worry about your mission. You have me here too, right? I know my grandfather said that you must represent the Lawfu as the ringmaster. But don't let that intimidate you. Ask yourself. You are a nameless of the Astral Express. You have always been free to come and go as you please. So why did you board the Sky Splitter with me when my grandfather gave us this mission? Why? Because I also want the war dance to go smoothly. For us nameless, even though we're just visitors at every stop, it was here that I met my two masters and made many new friends. I want the war dance to go ahead without any problems. For everyone's sake. Good answer. The tournament is about to begin, so I must go carry out the mission that Grandpa gave me. March, may your blade be sharp and your victory glorious. Thank you, Master Yun Li. According to Grandpa's plan, I should seek out the Cloud Knight soldiers aboard the Sky Splitter and see if there have been any new developments. Is that you, Miss Yun Li? If there's anything that I can help you with, please let me know. The Cloud Knights are all in position. Following General Hua Yen's orders. Very good. Although, there is one thing I want to confirm with you. Unfortunately, we don't have any means to distinguish between Borisin and Foxians. However, you can rest assured that the Cloud Knights are working hard to investigate the source of the forged identities. All Cloud Knights on the Sky Splitter have their own responsibilities and wouldn't dare neglect their posts. March 7th and I could already tell. It's clear that every Cloud Knight soldier we've met on the Sky Splitter is an elite warrior. Uh, your timing is perfect, Miss Yun Li. We actually just received an emergency boarding request. An emergency boarding request? It wasn't on the Sky Splitter Starskiff registry, but all the documentation checked out. Who would be boarding the ship at this time? Where are they? I'll go check it out. The Starskiff is using the contestant docking bay. Would you like me to lead the way? No need. You have your own duties to take care of. I will be fine by myself. I have to check on this immediately. Routine inspection! All passengers, please prepare for an inspection! So this is the suspicious Starskiff. Where did the passengers go? I'm going to count down from 10. If you do not come out, I will destroy the ship. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Time is running out. 3, 2, 1. Wait a second. It's me. It's just a routine inspection. You weren't actually going to blow up the ship, were you? Is that also some kind of Zhuming custom? Wait! Even though the Borison can disguise themselves, they can't turn into someone as short as me. Put your sword away. Didn't Lil Yenqing claim he was going to give up being the ringmaster and go on the hunt instead? Help shoulder the general's burdens? The Borison on the ground suddenly launched an attack. 
General Fei Shao was concerned that this was all a diversion by Hu Lei. So I requested to come to the Sky Splitter and provide support. I can't believe you ended up back here on the Sky Splitter after running around all over the place. But you're too late to enter the tournament now. Following Grandpa's plan, our disciple March is taking your place as Ringmaster. Aren't you proud of her? When I first heard the news, I was definitely proud. But also a little concerned. More manpower is always a good thing, since the Sky Splitter is so large. Oh, and by the way, you should know that. What's happening? Does it feel like the Sky Splitter has slowed down? Could, could it be? Come with me. We need to check the engine room. It's the heart of the ship, so we need to prioritize its safety. The war dance is about to begin. Contestants, please make your way to the arena. So... The engine room is just up ahead. Let's go. here. your bodies over here. Even though I truly hoped that the war dance would go ahead uninterrupted, and that I was worrying for no reason. Now that these guys have finally shown up, it's a huge weight off my mind. Bring it on, you abominations! Eternal. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. And elegance. Existence is unity. Spend freely. Yes, you! If we found two wolves in the engine room, that means that even more abominations have infiltrated other areas. Hule is already aboard the Sky Splitter! There's no time to talk about this. The War Dance has already started. If my guess is correct, the Borison will most likely use the ceremony to begin their slaughter. Let's go. We need to get to the War Dance ring. Come with me. To the ring. This way, we're not too late.
Before we get the first round underway, our organizing committee would like to introduce you all to a host known throughout the cosmos, Mr. Albert. He is here today as our special guest host. Let us invite our special guest host, Mr. Albert, to the stage to formally open the war dance. Surround your enemy, but leave one side open. This is your strategy for ensuring that the war dance will be able to be held as usual? Precisely. When Hule escaped, we should have cancelled the war dance immediately. No one can predict where a wild beast like him will attack. Yet festivals and celebrations like this are likely to become targets. However, preparations for the war dance were in the works for so long I couldn't bear to announce its cancellation. So I thought, if the show must go on, then let it go on. But that doesn't mean that the war dance we hold today has to be the real event. All we need to do is swap all the spectators and contestants aboard the ship with Cloud Knight soldiers, and the Sky Splitter soaring high above will become the ultimate battleground for our hunt. Hmm. But what do we do if Hule is not planning to attack the war dance? Then we just need to draw his attention to the Sky Splitter. We'll have the Sky Faring Commission clear all transport lanes and cut down Starskiff traffic. Then, when the time comes, there will be only one ship in the sky and he will have no reason not to attack. General Fei Shao will be in charge of scaring the wolves and cutting off their other means of escape, making him think that this will be his best way out. Given that the Borisin already have insiders on the Law Fu, I will be in charge of putting pressure on them, making them focus solely on keeping themselves safe. Very good. Then I'd better dust off my weary bones too. I will go with the Skyfaring Commission to guard the Jade Gate and ensure that things do not spiral out of control. Knowing that Elder Huayan is part of our last line of defense is a great comfort. This hunt will make Hule understand that the arrows of the hunt will always be one step ahead of the abominations. Oh, that jolt just now. What's going on? It feels like the entire ship has started to slow down. Borison must have actually infiltrated the Sky Splitter. Based on General Huayan's orders, it's time for me to take action! <laughs> 